What's up, GQ? I'm Kellen Acosta, and these are my essentials. This is my favorite cologne. It's called Terziana Terenzi Kirke. I actually got introduced by this uh, by my good friend and teammate, Christian Pulisic. He just had it at one day at camp, and I just fell in love. I pride myself on smelling good, so this, I mean, just compliments my personality. So, I mean, I have um, some like oakier ones if I'm wearing more of a menswear, but this is my you know, go-to every day, going into the locker room, going to the mall, going out to dinner. I kind of just put two on my wrist, it's right here. One on my neck, ready to go. Yeah, I'm a big sneaker head. These are my off-white lot 50 out of 50s from Virgil. Beyond these, I mean, I would probably have, I don't know, a few hundred at least. I haven't counted them in a while, but yeah, these are, these are one of my favorites. I mean, he did a great job from the double lace to metallic silver swoosh, the off-white writing to the little details of the purple pop. I mean, I mean, he, he did it, these are, these are sweet. I think Virgil did a great job with his, uh, his top 10 with the, the ones, he has the twos. I mean, I've just admired Virgil and everything that he's done. I'm just from being a guy of color, you know, building his brand from the ground up. I mean, it's definitely inspiring. I mean, RIP to a legend. So he's definitely been a guy that I truly admire and hopefully um, I can tap into the fashion world and have a big impact as he did. This is my Daily Stoic. I got introduced to this by my trainer. It's kind of just my everyday read. I mean, you have a passage per day and it kind of gets my day started. It's from the, the Stoics, uh, like Epictetus, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And it's kind of just quotes from, from him and, and other various philosophers as well. For me, I have the phrase of yes and, which is you got to accept what's coming, which is like the yes. And then and is how you direct your attitude towards it. So this has kind of really changed my, uh, my life really, and it's been a positive 22 with starting with this book. Peach rings. <laughs> Honestly, my favorite candy. I mean, if I'm in a gas station or grocery store, this is my first grab. I mean, I'm not going to the produce or the fruit. This is this is where it's at. Typically, I, I do the trolley, but uh, but these will do. I mean, any, I don't discriminate. Ever eat any peach rings on the sidelines during the game? I wish I could, honestly. I mean, that would give me that added boost to, you know, hopefully score a goal or contribute to the team. I mean, I'm more of like kind of a hard candy, so I like the Jolly Ranchers to the to the Starburst, like Skittles, now and later, and I've kind of been getting into high chews as well. I'm not so much into chocolates, but I mean, if someone were to give me some, I mean, I'm all about it. <laughs> this is my Cartier Dos Santos. It's just a sleek watch. I use it for everyday use, really. You mean dress it up and dress it down. You got the nice rubber band. It's comfortable, it's sleek. I'm, I'm kind of a simple person, so this is one of those watches that isn't too flashy, but um, if you're into watches, you know that, I mean, it's a nice timeless piece. I've um, only had it probably for, you know, a couple of years, but I've had my sights on it for five years now, so I'm glad to, and fortunate enough to, to, to get it now. I recently downloaded the Hodinkee app and just kind of just been reading about various watches. It kind of just took me back to my first watch and my first real watch it was a Rolex. It was a Yacht Master. And that was probably one of my first big purchases other than my house. It was one of those things where I'm like, wow, like this, this hard work that I put into got me to this point. And then I just became a, kind of a collector ever since. Probably have nine or 10 and maybe growing, we'll see my Oliver shorts. These shorts are just compliment me from stylish to athletic wear, athleisure. I mean, you can wear them up and dress them down. I like to be stylish in kind of whatever I do, whether it's working out, whether it's walking around the streets of LA to being in the gym. And I think these kind of check all the boxes for me. And I couldn't tell you like five inches, seven inches, but kind of just above the knee works for me. You know, I have soccer player legs. I mean, I'm generally pretty skinny, but you know, from bottom down, I got decent quads, I would say. So these kind of complement my figure. <laughs> yeah, this is my uh, JBL speaker. I actually travel with this. I recently moved to LA. I'm only five days in now. 
And this is something that I always travel with, whether I'm with the national team to going on trips with my current club team. It's something that I always have in the hotel. I'm, I'm a big music guy. And so whether I'm just hanging out or chilling or with friends, we always have music going. I listen to all types of music. I, I don't discriminate. From being from Texas, I, I listen to country, to to pop, to, to rap, hip hop, I listen to it all. When I'm in game mode, I kind of just zone out. And so the background music is almost kind of soothing for me. And I'm just locked in and trying to just focus on, you know, what I need to do in the game to have a successful game and help my teammates. But this kind of just eased my nerves in a way. I've been on a Olivia Rodrigo kick. That's like kind of sad music. Um, you know, you got uh, Billie Eilish, Juice World as well. I'm, I'm a huge J. Cole fan. And whenever I listen to J. Cole, it just brings a smile to my face. So um, for me, I mean, even though they're kind of somewhat depressing uh, per se, but I enjoy it. <laughs> my Goyard toiletry bag. I've actually gotten quite a few toiletry bags, but this one's special to me because my stylist CJ uh, Mitchell, he actually got me to get this. I mean, I love the Goyard print, but I never got into Goyard and he's really helped me build up my style game. I've been into fashion, but he's basically my coach. And this is a definitely a great complimentary piece to, you know, kind of any any look. I mean, you know, every game day, I mean, I probably have a few others that I wear, but this is my go-to one. There is stuff in it. A mask, of course. <laughs> We're in that day and age. AirPods, keys, a brush, and um, um, some lotion. Hand lotion. I don't want dry hands, especially I meet a lot of people, so shaking hands and having that first introduction is important. Pride myself on having, you know, nice smooth hands to make that first impression. It's called the Baldia Freak. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it smells good. I just got introduced to this. I was just walking the mall randomly and you know, like the little kiosk and <laughs> person's like, try this, put on my hands and fell in love and been wearing it ever since. I was probably a few years back and yeah, this is my you know, go-to scent. I mean, they have several others that I really enjoy, but so I think it kind of complements my cologne as well. I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't describe it to you. It's hard describing like perfumes, colognes, lotions, but I mean, it's that kind of that sweet florally smell. This is my Joe Malone candle. If you ever been to my house, I probably have like 20 of these scattered all around the house. I mean, Miritong is probably my favorite. This is the lime basil mandarin, but like I said, all around my house, I pride myself on smelling good, so my house needs to smell good. And yeah, this has just been a staple. You know, just walking around the mall, stumble upon Joe Malone, smell the candle, I'm like, I have to have it. <laughs> and that was probably a few years back as well. It's a great just home decor piece as well. I mean, I just like the sleek design, simple, and it looks good. I get compliment every time someone walks in my house, like, wow, it smells great in here. Like, what is it? Is it Febreze? Is it, you know, air wick on the wall? Like, what, like, what is it? But, jump along. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my essentials. I'm Kellen Acosta, signing off. <laughs>